Unboxing. Yes, new guitar. Okay. So it's been a while since I've had a GNL guitar. I think the last one I had was um, the Asa model. Um, but I've never owned one of these. I have played one before a long time ago. Um, A used guitar. Um, me. The guy I bought it off definitely wrapped in a lot of cardboard in the box, so that's a, always a good sign. Because I've had guitars wrapped in toilet paper, and I've had a guitar since before just wrapped in a bin line and nothing else. And they wonder why it arrived damaged. So. Yeah. About there. Oh, he's even me, giving me some earplugs and a pack of Harry Pogues, of all things. Don't get that very often. Okay. So, GNL Fallout. Um, it's actually strung upside down because he did tell me that he was going to change it around, but clearly never. So I'll have to quickly put a uh, new set of strings on. But um, yeah, GNL. If you don't know, who they are the G stands for George Fullerton, the L stands for Leo Fender. So yeah. Leo Fender sold Fender in 1965 to CBS. He stayed on for a few years um, as sort of an advisor. Uh, then he helped make the sort of Music Man guitar behind the scenes. Um, and then in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, he started GNL with George Fullerton, who was a former Fender employee. And um, yeah, this is a Fallout, so it's based on the SC2, which was an early GNL guitar. Um, it's got the same body shape, but this is sort of a bit of a modern take on it. So the guitar itself is used. Uh, it is a 2016. These are crafted in Indonesia. I'm not sure if it's the same factory where they make these squires, but uh, straight off the bat, it does feel really nice. Um, excellent condition as well, not a mark on it. Which is always good. So spec, got that nice body shape there. Um, you got free ply. This is sort of like a, uh, a minty green pit guard. So you got a Paul Gogan designed P90 on the neck and a humbucker on the bridge position. Um, so you got a master volume, master tone, free away control switch, and you've also got split coil switch on the tone control there for the humbucker pickup. Um, you've got the GNL specially designed lock bridge so the saddles do not move left and right they're just locked in which is a, a really nice idea. Yeah it's got a mahogany body. Um, oh there's a little scratch there just by the input jack but yeah it's got a mahogany body, body which doesn't weigh overly too much it's just got a nice weight to it. So onto the neck, it's got a maple neck with a gloss finish, modern style tuners, so it's got rosewood fingerboard, 22 frets, they sell a medium jumbo frets but they do look on the sort of jumbo side to me, 25.5 um, inch scale, uh, it's got a 12 inch radius fingerboard which I know Leo Fender started to sort of make a lot of guitars like that towards the end. Um, yeah, really nice, really nice feel to it. It's got a C profile neck, which feels quite a little bit chunky. Nothing, you know, too bad. I do quite like it actually. Um, so yeah, this was used. Um, you can pick these up, sort of 250, 300 pound mark used. 
They're still making brand new, they're about £400 in the UK at the minute. Obviously they're doing different colours and doing with a maple neck. Uh, I'm not sure that, how long they'll be doing a rosewood for, obviously, because there's a, a bang that's sort of in effect now. But um, yeah, nice looking guitar. So I guess the next thing, plug her in, let's see what she sounds like. Okay, so I've strung this round the right way now, new set of strings on it, give it the quickest setup going, so intonation is a bit meh. Um, actions, I've just suggested it to sort of what I like, so just bear that in mind, but um, yeah, it's all tuned up, so this is just the neck pick up on its own. Okay, so middle position, uh, both pickups again, but this time with the cool splitting turned on. Okay, so this is just the bridge pickup on its own now. Okay, so this is the bridge position with a cool splitting turned on. Okay, so we're going to play with some overdrive now, so this is just the neck pick up on its own. So this is both pickups together.
bridge position on its own with a cool splitting turned on. <laughs> Set sort of style body there, mahogany and a nice glossy black, um, rich sounding P90 pickup on the neck position, and a nice big humbucker stuck there on the bridge. Got your cool split in, sort of a locking bridge system. Um, 25.5 inch neck, rosewood fingerboard, 12 inch radius, just a great guitar. Again, brand new, these are around £400 in the UK at the minute. Usually, you can pick them up for sort of £300 mark, but really nice sounding guitar. So, yeah, let me know what your thoughts sounding the best in the video. If you liked the P90 or the Humbucker, you know, all together with a cool splitting, clean or distorted, just let us know what you thought sounding the best. And um, yeah, check me out the Meat Manifesto on Instagram. Also, head over to Spreadshirt. I've got some Meat Manifesto t shirts. Be cool if I could see some people buying some of them. Um, also, if you want to support the channel, um, as I've got a Patreon account, the Meat Manifesto, but you know, check that out if you wish. But yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I've got a live stream again, 9 p.m. this Friday UK time um, with a special guest, so check that out. But until then, I'll pop up a few videos, and we'll um, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.